guys, this is Minecrafty Dad, and welcome to episode 5 of our Minecraft FTB Regrowth 0.7 Alpha Mod Pack series. This mod pack is available on the FTB launcher, and information on how to download the pack is available in the video description below. Like I said, most of these episodes will focus on me trying to play the pack as part of my Let's Play. And uh, these episodes are also recorded live on Twitch at uh, twitch.tv forward slash minecraftingdad. All my information is listed below. So let's take a look and uh, see what we did since our last episode. Just planted some additional crops and kind of uh, got things a little bit more prepared. We get tons and tons of new quests since uh, the update from 0 0.65 to 0 0.72. It's the current upgrade, our current uh, you know, revision for the pack. Uh, so let's take a look at our quest book. Let's see where we currently are. So, if you were here during the last episode, we completed different quests requiring us to build the uh, Petal Apothecary, plant some of the uh, day blooms, and get this all set up. So, uh, if you were here before, I did do a 0 0.65 Let's Play, and I decided to uh, restart on 0. 7. So if you're in my video history, you may see some 0 0.65 stuff. But I decided just because there were so many changes to the quests, it was easier to you know restart over in 0 0.7.2 or 0 0.7, more formally known, and uh, redo some of these things. So let's take a look at some of the quests that we've recently unlocked. The next quest under the What the World Came to Be section is... Uh, this guy here, Soiled Plans. Simple farmland is all well and good for basic plants, but if you want to grow anything particularly worthwhile, investing some time into producing a better alternative could prove worthwhile. So this wants us to make a compost bin. So let's take a look in our NEI, and let's look up a compost bin. So simply, uh, this is some planks with six sticks on top, and this is going to be used to basically uh, convert any really basically living thing into uh, compost. So let's take a look and make this. I don't think you could do it with that. It actually needs sticks, right? Let's get that out of there. We can convert our AgriCraft crop sticks back into regular ones. So we'll do that there. So in case you need or you just have the AgriCraft crop sticks, you can convert those back. All right, so there we go. We now have a compost bin. So let's look at completing that. This is going to get us 16 pieces of compost. Uh, and also wants us to make one piece of garden soil, if we look in NEI. This is actually rel relatively simple, but um, as I'm thinking NEI, <laughs> you start typing it. So garden soil. In order to make this, you just basically combine one regular piece of dirt with some compost. So we do have tons of regular dirt over here. Uh, we still actually have some in our inventory. So let's combine a... Well, it wants us to actually make uh, something. So let's just find a place for this, and we'll just start throwing some random things in there. Let's see if we can find... So we've got some carrots, we got some melons, and we got some wheat. Let's throw all these in here. And you can see there's a little bar that gets created. It sort of works just like a furnace does. The items that you throw in, uh, if you see how I've basically highlighted the compost bin grid, anything in your inventory that can be composted will turn gray. So it makes it very easy to see uh, which of the items in your inventory are going to work towards composting. So we only to get 16 is our reward um, of this enriched soil. Oh, looks like we're going to have to throw some of these weed in there. Hopefully not. Uh, I guess we will. Just throw, we'll throw a couple of those in. Hopefully that works. Alright, so what we'll do is as soon as we get this reward, we should be able to complete this quest. It's a relatively simple quest, but it's a very important one, as uh, you'll learn here very shortly. So now that we've created one garden soil by combining dirt and compost, we're now able to complete this quest. We get 16 more pieces of compost. And in here, we also have opened up a couple more different 
uh, quests. One of those being, oh, did we not get this? I didn't realize we didn't collect on this last quest, which was making the mana spreader and the full mana pool. Sometimes I do that. <laughs> so we now collected on that one and this one, and we can make something called uh, mycelium. And in order to do that, we need to create infestation spores. So let's take a look at what it's going to be required to do that. Infestation spores. I'm having an idea this is going to be something part of Botania. It actually wants us to throw a mushroom into the uh, mana you know, pool, and it's going to give us some infestation spores. I don't know if I have any mushrooms. In fact, we do. We have two. So let's go and take one of these mushrooms and throw it in here. There we go. We now have something called infestation spores. And we take a regular piece of dirt and infestation spores. Uh, or does it need to be planted? I guess it needs to be planted. Here, let's go find a place to plant our mycelium. I think we'll we'll put it... Mm, let's see. Find somewhere that's kind of out of the way. Maybe we'll put it over here. Nice little spot for a... Uh, mushroom garden why not right so this will give us about four of each so in order to grow mushrooms you actually need to place them onto mycelium all right so we'll do that and you know what this isn't gonna stay without water is it what's well, okay let's just well we need is it dirt I think it's just dirt here let's let's get rid of this Getting, getting ahead of myself. I am. Uh, I definitely make mistakes every once in a while. So we need just regular dirt, and then you throw the infestation spores down. Hopefully this doesn't spread to over there. But let's see. There we go. And there is the mycelium. So now what we can do is we can put some crop stakes down here. And we should be able to take that additional mushroom that we had, which is in here, and should be able to now plant this. This is one of those things that uh, it took a little bit of while to kind of understand. And I'm glad they added this to the uh, to the quest book. What a, can I not? Uh, can I do I have to? Wait a minute. What's going on? Does it need light or it needs darkness? Ah, ha, ha, ha. See, you can't fool me, game. Alright, so then, guess what? We're going to have to just... Let's take this up. It's not, I'm not going to plant it here anyway, so if we can't use it here, then let's, uh... I guess we'll, we'll put the regular stuff back. I do have a place we can plant this and uh, get away with it. So let's let's go and throw this in here. And what? Wait a minute. It doesn't have enough mana yet to, uh, to create that? Okay, okay. Fine. But let's go into our quest book. We should be able to get this, which gives us the eight pieces of mycelium and some red mushroom spores. So let's take this and I'll find a more appropriate place. I do have somewhere do have a place that we can plant this. So I have a little hidey area down here that we can basically make dark. Uh, let's see, we'll, we'll make a little spot somewhere down here that we can basically plant these guys. So let's go inside of the wall over here. So at least we have somewhere nice and dark to uh, Plant these guys. This is a this is a new requirement uh, in 0 0.7 yeah 0 0.7 now requires you to plant the mushrooms in a dark environment. It's kind of weird, but hey, you know whatever. We'll get used to. It. All right, so let's plant these guys down here. how dark this really needs, but let's kind of just 
go like this. Let's let's plant these guys on the ground first. Let's see if this works. Uh, wait a minute. Okay, it doesn't need the sticks, but the uh, the seeds do. So the seeds need to be on the. Yeah. Okay. So we're good there. This plant cannot grow here. What? Well, whatever. It's good. It's now planted in the appropriate spot. So. If we need to come get some mushrooms, we know where they are. Alright, so now we can grow this out. And we'll get the uh, the other ones shortly. So this is my little caving area. So then I've just basically connected the house to it, so I don't have to worry about any mobs kind of coming up and uh, getting into the, into the base. Alright, so let's go and see what we can complete now as part of our quests. It wants us to make some uh, magical essence seeds. In order to make an essence seed, again, probably going to make us go down the Botania route. Well, let's let's see what it makes us do. It wants us to throw a regular seed into the mana pool, and because we're not generating any mana uh, during the night, it's better for us to go into the morning. But we do have eight more day blooms, so let's uh, let's extend our mana generating uh, capabilities here. And let's add in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this gives us eight more positions to generate mana from. Like I said, the day blooms don't generate a ton of mana, but they do generate uh, a fair bit during the day. More than zero, and uh, right now we have no other way of generating mana. There is tons of different ways we can generate mana. We have these guys called the hydrangeas. Um, the cool way these guys work, let's see, I might make another mana pool over, another thing over here. I'll show you how these guys work. So I think, if I'm not mistaken, this guy needs to be planted here and here. Let's see if this works. I don't even think I really need to go this far. But let's see. Let's see if we can get this to work. Okay, so now if we plant these guys here and here, it should start working. Uh, Or they need to be. It needs to be down a level. Okay, I'm sorry, I did that wrong. I did that incorrectly. It needs to be down one more level. So it needs to be here. Ha ha ha! See, sometimes, sometimes it just takes a little extra step. All right, so they'll generate uh, mana as well by using the water. So the only problem is, is I don't know that they're close enough to the. Uh, If they're close enough to this mana spreader, yeah, see these guys are generating mana but they're not losing it. So that means we should make another mana spreader. So let's do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, and one extra seed. We'll do that right now. So let's make another mana spreader. So that goes there. And oh, I missed one, didn't I? Whoops. How the heck did I do that? Oh, it's a regular crafting table. Alright, whatever. We'll do that again. So we got another mana spreader, and we want that to work from over here. So let's grab it from here. Something like that. So this, eventually we're going to be able to put more of these hydrangeas. Uh, let's see, grab that guy, point him over to there. Okay, so now you can see we have the hydrangeas and the standard day blooms, which only work during the day. Uh, so let's go to sleep real quick. Let's see if we can kind of get this mana pool working. So we 
did that. And let's take a look at our quest book. We need to throw in one regular seed. So we do have this big crop over here of seeds. So let's grab from there and throw this into our mana pool. Should have plenty of mana. There we go. We now have one essence seed. Now the thing about the essence seeds, I'll, I'll give you kind of a, like a little tutorial here. We'll, we'll plant all this. If if I try to plant this onto regular soil, it will not go. So don't get frustrated. You just have to basically use the tools that they give you in order to make this work. You need the garden soil. Then you need the uh, flint mattock. This and a magical crop. There you go. So that's the steps you need to take. So what we're going to do is we're going to convert uh, some of our regular dirt into the enriched version. So that way we can have our magical crops spread. So this this is really going to be one of those things that is a big huge difference from the 0 0.65. But uh, we're going to need to have this entire field filled with magical crops. So let me do this. Let me work on getting this magical crop field fully populated. And then what we'll do is we'll start looking into um, some of the different things that we can make with our seeds. So give me a little bit of time and we'll be right back. All right, guys, so welcome back. Uh, what I did is I went ahead and I converted the entire ground area to the garden soil. I put up a whole bunch of the agri crop uh, sticks call them crop sticks I guess. I don't know why they just call them crops but the agricraft sticks and uh, now you can see that the magical uh, crops are starting to breed and move out. So to, to finish this quest it actually wants us to gather two essence dust. I gathered the one from the corner here and there's our second one. So now we have that and we can now get uh, four essence seed and an ender pearl. And in fact, we are going to use this to help uh, make our stuff grow a little faster. So let's actually plant one there, one here, one there, and one here. And the reason why I'm keeping them to one side is because I still want this end, this side to be the strongest seed. And then what I'll do is I'll move this particular seed right here over to the next crop and then it'll continually get stronger. So instead of planting, you know, one here and one here and then letting them grow, I'm going to let them grow from one side to the other. And that's going to be the best way to get the maximum gain. So, all right. So there is some other quests that we can now complete. Uh, we did open this one here called... Uh, natural seeds or uh, yeah, nature seeds, which uh, it wants us to, if I'm not mistaken, let's take a look at the recipe for nature seeds. We probably don't uh, have what we need at this point, but we need a yeah, regular magical essence seed and one sugar cane to make a nature essence. So we can take our sugar cane seed from here, for example, and we should do two things. Well, yeah, let's just take it from here for now. I mean, we know what we need to get. We need to get nature essence. It's going to be required in some of our some of our future crops. So let's take that and replace this guy with sand and put that on there and our sugar cane. So as you can see from this recipe, it requires sugar cane on one side magical essence crops on the other and a nature seed will have a chance to grow right here so as soon as this hits hundred percent and this guy hits hundred percent this has a chance to be a nature seed the thing you have to keep an eye on is the fact that this has to be the tilled garden soil this doesn't have sand this doesn't have whatever but if you go in here and look like for example if we go back to the regular seed Let's go back in there again. I want to show you an example of something. Carrots, for example. 
you can see to make carrots, carrots can actually grow on farmland, hummus, tilled garden soil. It can grow on basically any type of tilled dirt. So you got to be very careful about this, the, this, the distinction of what it actually wants you to grow it on. So here is where it's going to tell you the soil type. So be very careful about that. All right, so now let's look at our quest book while we're waiting for the uh, nature seeds to uh, be created. Let's go see if there's some other quests we can work on. So we did open up some more quests. The second series is called What is the World Made of? And this wants us to make a, um, wants us to make, let's see here. You can combine some essence with a mana infused pearl and rule the world. <laughs> I mean, you can make a stone which lets you condense the magic of the essence into a more potent form. So let's take and throw a mana pearl or let's make a mana pearl from an ender pearl. So the only thing we need to do is throw the ender pearl into the mana pool and you can see the little check mark that says you have enough mana. Throw that in there and we now get a mana pearl. So let's look at this quote, uh, quest and we are going to be rewarded with something here but before we do that it wants us to create a weak infusion stone. So in order to create a weak infusion stone Let's take a look at the recipe here for the weak infusion stone. It's a combination of a mana pearl and eight essence dust. And as you can see, we only have two and whatever is currently growing over here. So let's see if we have enough. So we have two, we have three. Uh, technically, I shouldn't have taken that away because now it's going to require that to regrow before this will be able to breed. But yeah, it's, we can come back over here in a few minutes and we should have the ingredients to complete that quest. So while we're waiting for that to happen, let's look further down into the book. The next one related to Botania, it wants us to actually make a runic altar. And this is going to give us two mana pearls and some more floral fertilizer. So let's go and look in any eye at the recipe for the runic altar. So for the runic altar, you can look here and you can see Basically, it's like making a helmet with living rock, and you put one mana pearl inside. So, it was a good thing that we did make that mana pearl. And let's make ourselves a runic altar. So, we need that and a mana pearl, and there you go. So, now we have a runic altar. So, one of the things, oops, don't want to crush my flower over there. What we're going to do is we're going to put this here, and there's an important reason why we want to have this here. Later on, there's going to be recipes that require us to use the runic altar. And when that happens, we have to change the position of these guys. So you can see where the mana spreaders are pointing. Right now, they're pointing at the mana pool. When we use the runic altar, we want to actually get in here, and we want to point both of these to the runic altar. So now, the mana is being spread here. So if you end up having a recipe in the future, just keep in mind, you want to make sure you point your mana spreaders to the correct source. All right, so let's grab these and repoint them back to our mana pool. All right. So now you can see they're pointing in the right direction, and this is going to continue to collect. All right, so let's take a look in our book and see what we're able to uh, claim here. All right, so now that gave us two mana pearls and some floral fertilizer. Let's go put this stuff away because we don't really technically need it right this minute. So let's put the mana pearls and stuff inside of our botanical chest over here, and let's hang back up our wand. At least we know where it is when we need to use it next time. Let's go into the quest book and see if there's any more quests that we can complete. We did open a quest here. By making the runic altar, we now have this guy, which is called the Clayconia. And in order to make this, it wants us to gather 12 clay and 10 mystical light gray flowers. I'm going to work on this one between episodes, getting the resources for that. In the meantime, let's go down the list here and see if there's anything else that we can do. Section 4, What the World Teaches. Let's open that up. This wants us to make a oak book case. And it, the reason why is we have a whole ton of books that we collect 
by opening up all these different mods and it feels as it's very important for us to make a bookshelf so you basically line both sides with uh, full planks in the middle with uh, is it the other way around let's see I think I got this incorrect now you know why because I'm using spruce and oak maybe just maybe if you use the right kind of wood you have to make it all with the same kind of wood so if we use oak we need to use oak throughout the whole entire recipe there you go you got an oak bookcase if we want to make a spruce variation of it we do the same thing with spruce wood and there you go now we have a spruce variety so you can see that allows us to make oak or spruce whatever you know combination you like so then we could take some of these books that we have all over the place and we can place those on here and uh, just throw them in there doesn't really matter so let's see there's a couple books you can even put your quest book in there if you so choose but uh, yeah you're, you definitely get a ton of books inside of this um, so yeah I'd like to keep my quest book on me so cool we made a bookshelf and this rewards us with some experience and some books it also wants us to make this thing called a book binder let's take a look at that real quick a book binder is going to be a combination of string and some paper. I think I have some paper over here, and I think I have some string in my mob drop chest. We do. All right, so we can do this in our two by two grid. There's one, there's two, there's two pieces of paper. We now have a book binder. So the cool thing about this, uh, besides it helps us complete our quest, it now opens up a whole different level of different books that we can open. All of these with really cool information in them that. Uh, will let you create all kinds of different stuff but we'll get into that in a minute let's stick our book binder over here for now and let us look at some of the next quests we can complete under the next section which is what the world enables we can look at making a snorkel so this is going to allow us to get into some of the mariculture uh, this is a snorkel from mariculture I can tell you this I can give you an example uh, let's make the snorkel first and then I'll show you the reason why you want this. We'll do a little bit of a, an experiment. So the first thing we need to do in order to make a snorkel, and I am kind of getting ahead of myself here, let's look at the recipe. A snorkel is a combination of a glass lens and sugar cane. So glass lens is four pieces of uh, wood and one piece of glass in the center. So there you go. There's the four pieces of wood and the glass. We get ourselves two glass lenses put those together and combine it with some uh, sugar cane we now have a snorkel oh guess what and we get another book which we're gonna throw on the shelf because you know we need these books of course we do alright so let's go experiment with the snorkel and I'll kinda give you an idea of how this thing works uh, well first things first let's uh, claim our reward alright so here's an experiment in using the snorkel and working with mariculture. I'm going to show you something. It's kind of, kind of nuts, but it, the drowning capability in this pack is ridiculous. So, like for example, see how I mean? Look how quickly my water is running out here. It's, it's so fast. It's like one, two, not even three seconds, and you're starting to lose, uh, you know, breathing ability. But if you go in there now with the with the snorkel, you can see it pretty much at this point acts like regular Minecraft. It actually probably gives you just a little bit more breathing than regular Minecraft. But we're gonna take and plant our pearls on the uh, on the bottom here. Let's get some air. And these things are going to be useful later on. So th the only thing you really need to know about these at this point is you want to put them at the bottom of a little bit of a water and you want some sand so it doesn't matter what type of sand you use you can use both regular red sand and you can also use this type of sand but the cool thing is if you ever need regular sand I'm going to show you a little bit of a trick about this so as you get in here stick the regular red sand in and you bring it back out this, this this time, it, if you leave it in here, it's going to convert it to uh, regular sand. 
after a bit of time. It used to be a trick that you could basically stick the red sand in and get the uh, regular sand out. But if it, as long as you leave it in there for a little bit of time, it will uh, it will convert at a certain point. But it looks like they updated the recipe so you can't use that cheat anymore. <laughs> anyway, so there, now we have the ability to uh, go underwater and collect things. So, if I'm not mistaken, I did find an ocean it wasn't too far off in the distance. And it is currently nighttime, but I think we can get over there. So, for example, if we wanted to go over and do some quick exploring here. Do I have a fence? All the way down there. Alright, whatever. Let's go do some exploring. Hopefully there's no mobs, but... Of course there's mobs. There's always mobs. But down here, over this little ledge, is the ocean. So, we're actually going to be able to you know, get inside of here and do some exploring. So, let's go see if we can find ourselves some more of the... Uh, what do you call it? It's kind of dark. <laughs> Maybe this wasn't the best idea. But now you could find more of those naturally occurring in the ocean. So we should definitely get ourselves back to base. Being out at night is, uh, is a lot of fun, but it's also very dangerous. So you can see all the crazy mobs that are out here. So we'll kind of just avoid these guys for now, and we'll get ourselves back to the base. And hello, Mr. Spider. Goodbye, Mr. Spider. Hello, Mr. Skeleton. Ow. This wasn't the greatest idea, was it? I'll take that. Thank you. All right, let's get ourselves back into the base over here. So we got like a little entry door. All right. So see, that's why we don't go outside at night because it's dangerous. <laughs> but it's good to see, you know, kind of how the how the world revolves around you. That it's definitely a good thing to build a nice, safe base that you don't have to go out in. It is very dangerous out there. All right. So remember, in our first uh, one of our first things was required us to get eight of these in order to make the weak essence. So we, ha we now have 11 and we need one of the mana pearls and it's going to allow us to make the weak fusion stone. So let's do that real quick. Go right here and combine the mana pearl wick with the essence dust and there you go. We now have a weak infusion stone and that's going to be used to do some upgrading. But uh, let us clean out some of our inventory here because we are jam-packed with things and we, we can't turn quests in and if you have a, ever have a problem uh, getting the quests for example uh, if you ever have a problem getting some of the quests to complete um, what you want to do let's see here yeah it won't let you collect these until you've emptied your inventory so you want to make sure that you don't have a full inventory like I do, else you're going to have a problem. So let's kind of get things somewhat situated here. Stone, cobble, sand, dirt. Let's get all that in the right places. We have sand and dust, all that there. Some marble up there. Living rock, that's okay. We'll put that there for now. Garden soil we can put in there and all of our wood over here. It's good to have organization. It's going to help you in this pack tremendously. It sounds like we have a spider in our, in our house. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Hey, we've got invaders. <laughs> That's fine. I welcome the string. The string is a... Uh, well, it's funny. The, the string actually fell onto the runic altar and is now attached to it. As you can see, it's floating around. To get items back, all you need to do is uh, uh, shift and right click, and it will pull it off of the altar. So, good to go. Close that, and let's see here. <laughs> let's keep them keep the mobs out. It's always good to have a nice safe area to uh, to do what you got to do. So, all right, now the next task actually added another one. It wants us to create some weak essence. So in order to do that, we need to combine 
before, let's go grab another one of these because we should have one over here. Mm, we don't. We need to wait for one of those to grow. So what we need to do to make a weak essence, let's take a look at that in our thing here. Weak essence is a combination of our weak infusion stone and the essence dust to make one weak essence. Now in the quest book it only wants us to make one of these and we're going to get rewarded with uh, one ender pearl, four weak essence, and then either skeleton soul seeds or weak essence. You can make more weak essence. It's very difficult to make skeleton soul seeds. If you're ever faced with this quest, always choose the skeleton soul seeds. I don't even know why this is a choice. It should just give you the skeleton soul seeds. It, it not, that should not even be an option. If you are trying to make your magical crops grow faster, you cannot use bone meal. You have to actually use something called magical fertilizer. In order to make magical fertilizer, it's a combination of floral fertilizer, bone meal, mutandus, and essence of nature. I don't, I don't think you can just create essence of nature, but let see. I think you might be able to, but take a look. No. So there's no recipe for essence of nature. So we're kind of at a holding point until we can get one more of those, which we did. Nice. All right. So now we're good to go. Let's go and complete this quest. Get in here and take our weak essence stone at one, two, three, four. There it goes. Okay, so cool. Now, and don't forget to take out your weak confusion stone. I leave that thing everywhere. At this point, select our skeleton soul seeds and claim the reward. Nice. All right, so we did a fair bit of uh, quest related to the uh, unlocking some of the magical crop stuff. So you can see here, this is the uh, weak infusion stone. It now talks about copper uh, essences. It talks about ender seeds. It talks about dye seeds. It talks about all kinds of stuff. Um, this is going to be a very important thing coming up in some future episodes. And uh, also has opened up some other things too. Uh, so the nature seed, as we were talking about, it should eventually grow here. The one thing you have to keep an eye on Sometimes this crop mutation that happens won't always grow the what you want to breed. Sometimes you got to go back and you have to break it and you have to replant this. And oh look, we got nature seed over here. So nice. So even though it didn't work on this side, it worked over here because this crop breeded with that one to make the nature essence seed. So even though this made an, another essence this one did exactly as we desired and it made the nature seed. So with that, let me see if that's all it needs us to do. Does it just want us to make a nature seed? It does. Okay, so we can take that crop. Frankly, we can actually just plant another breeding seed and it should create another one. But the cool thing is, is this now allows us to basically get this reward. Alright guys, so what is our plan? Well, you're going to have to wait until the next episode. Make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment below. You can also watch the live streams on twitch.tv forward slash minecraftingdad. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching with me, and we will see you next time.